magic power behind this entire institution what has been uh, you know what is his point of view towards how he it's like how he turns the magic let us just ask him in prior from him <laughs> that's a very difficult question to answer about magic this no magic is fact basically we are doing our work meticulously so it's uh, the whole thing it comes down to doing the things to the last point basically creating solutions take the problems to the end points that i think has been my uh, focus all this life and we are we are working very hard and we feel very good in fact the celebration is our celebration it's our success it's not their ranks that we have got ranks so we feel very happy sharing all the moments with them and we want to make some heroes yes uh on this i would like to ask you one uh, simple question uh, chief I have, uh, uh, you know, uh, 
as you rightly said, management, you have yourself done a lot of management, even I am, and uh, you have uh, seen how things are happening. Can you see something which is really behind it, which is not visible but can be felt? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you know, there are so many tuition classes in this country. I mean, not just for medical, it's now engineering, and IS. It's like you know, on every street there is a tuition class. Mm -hmm. But very few maintain a brand and consistently produce the work. So you think that now the brand is something which is being. Oh, absolutely. I mean, even coaching that. classes have a brand. I mean, there is a reputation that even coaching schools have, and that's why uh, I don't think IMS has to do too much marketing now. I mean, I'm guessing. And no, will just come by the yeah. yeah. If, if you ask me, I've been interviewing people here, and when doctor says, when I ask the question, okay, what inspired you to do it? The simple answer is, my elders, I mean, my seniors yeah. told me that if you really want to achieve, go to IMS. I think if you have a good product, then uh, marketing is much less required, and the word of mouth travels. When you have a reputation, I mean, in my books, you will never see me advertising books, for example. Yes. You'll never see an ad for my books. But still, people know, and uh, that's because of the word of mouth. And, and say, for your case, it's even harder to build a word of mouth, but you've done it. So, I think some brands are there that, that do it this way. And I think that is the best way. That way, your focus is on the product. You will do, you'll give a better product, which is in this case, is your, your learning that you're giving to influence them to your exam. It becomes a center of excellence by itself. And I think it's it will automatically be stoppers are going to. They were saying it from the heart. Nobody gave them yeah. program lines that you have to go and praise us. You know, there's some were saying this, some were saying whatever. It was, it was a free, mm -hmm. free uh, mic given to them, and they all praised. So I think they do know the success of their situation. As a piece of advice, what do you think? Because over uh, over a period of time, you have seen a lot of things in your life. You've written a lot of literature. You, uh, you know, as far as literature is concerned, do you have any words for them? As in what they should do? Yeah. See, I'm not a doctor and I don't know the course, but I can say that any difficult, this is what they are doing, this may be very difficult. Clearing a difficult entrance exam or anything difficult in life, writing a book or, uh, I don't know, climbing the Everest or losing a lot of weight. Anything which is very difficult to do requires a lot of inner motivation, a lot of passion, which is what I spoke to them about. And I think um, that's what any student in Swami must first have that right mental framework. No matter how brilliant the class is, no matter how well managed it is, with the faculty. Um, if this child doesn't feel it from inside, if you want to make it, then you will not make it. So that is very important. I think that that is something the child has to it's it's a team, right? It's the institute and the and faculty and, and the team. And yeah, they all do it together. I mean, and the literature and yeah. of course. No, I have one thing in mind, uh, Dr. Sophie Sharma, I will ask you one simple question. With due respect. What is there in your mind? Having children here sharing his idea with medical students. Simple question. Frankly speaking, uh, actually we met uh, in a recent function at Brands Academy. So that interaction was quite good. And in fact, we got the best brand award there, the best medical coaching in the country. And uh, maybe I thought uh, the interaction was not complete there, so I needed to complete it here, so I got there. Well, so it means we can have him as a mentor and uh, Yes, our, yes. Uh, our board and uh, we can certainly yes, yes. Uh, idea. We would uh, maybe like to get him on to the orientation session where we take off classes on day one. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he would be a good motivation. Because, so, uh, correct, you're right. As, as we rightly, uh, last time when we had a similar kind of ceremony, we were noticing that there were some ideas being shared by the students that if we can have this, it will be better. I think this is one of the initiatives that is uh, usually took it on the first step and you know, executed it so that we have a person who is not only a uh, psychological teacher who can motivate students better to come and you know, because if you look at it all together, there are about 300 questions in three hours. I mean, three and a half hours, that's a, that's a big task. And, uh, and uh, 19 subjects. So a lot of psychological pressure. So a lot of motivation is quality. Motivation, I think, is like bathing you need every day. Yeah. So we need. Uh, I can't write much <laughs> But even you know, I am not. I was not a. I am a writer, and I accidentally became a motivation speaker. But I initially was very skeptical about how can a motivation speaker work. But it does work because your mental state before you start attempt anything. Mm -hmm. 
it will determine very much whether you will be successful at it or not. It's like any benefit, from a leader that you say? Yeah, any benefit that I can provide, any inspiration, I don't think that's such a leader as such, but somebody who's an inspiring figure, you know, somebody who can come and give them the feeling that maybe I can make it. I mean, that alone will uh, ignite the flame uh, of work. To work hard and get there. So I think that's why that's why people call, mm -hmm. and that's why I do it sometimes. Because otherwise, why would I do it if I can write books and I can make movies? Why would I come and do this? Uh, of course, it's a profession, but at the end of the day, it has to give me something. And that thing is that yes, I might have touched a few people today, and they may go back and think that you know I have to do it now. So on the on the whole, if you look at it, uh, education on the on the forefront would really impart a lot of role uh, in upbringing the entire society at large, country at large, states at large. So how do you how do you feel that medical education and that kind of post graduation entrance level? Uh, because now you see if, if you look at uh, our doctors, they're getting placed not only in India, best hospitals, but they are actually required outside India also, like in America. You are uh, you talk about I mean South America, North America, Australia at the side, in the Middle East. So what, what exactly you you totally feel that is is needed actually in today's age, uh, apart from the basic education which is being imparted, do you really feel that the psychological lectures and these kind of uh, knowledge imparting will really boost their morals? I think it does. I think it does. any any uh, these advanced because all these things will also enter a lot of challenge. In this room. Yeah, no, I think so. But uh, anything you know that helps achieve excellence is to be valued in society. And these are PhD students, and they are not primary education, but if they are at the best of the best uh, in the country, and I think we must uh, own that talent really well. And even if they are in India, they go abroad. Wherever they are going, they are spreading India's name, like, uh, positive name. And I think that that always is good. You know, people are not really like you know, Indians are good. In that eventually will help India because they will then invest in India maybe one day or come to India one day. So all those things are these people are very helping us, they're ambassadors of the So all in all what we can say is that Dr. Sukit Chandra is modeling a major role in helping yeah. the entire uh, uh, you know community at large in terms of the medical students coming to who are basically aspiring for PG entrance and uh, that's really a good thing and uh, on this note, I would like to thank you Mr. Jinnan Sharma and Dr. Sukhut Sharma. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>